to our relatives who are representatives on the islands and they still still tell us the same thing. Um, so they tell you the party line in other words. They tell us the party line. There's not enough money, nobody's being paid, there isn't any funding, there's, there's no, there's no uh, camaraderie between anybody. Hmm. Okay, so I want to ask you some questions. Do you mind if I ask you questions? And I'm going to post it onto YouTube. I'm all about it. Okay, so tell me your name. My name is Thaspin Rickland. Okay, and um, tell me about your organization for a minute. Um, I started an organization, me and my partner started an organization called Our Islands Conservation Center, and we are a local nonprofit trying to advocate for environmental and cultural justice for the Marshallese people through education and action. So we are out here. Um, and what happened to the Marshallese people? Um, the Marshallese people in 1946 and 1958, the United States conducted 67 atomic nuclear tests. Um, for the 12 year span, they did about 1.6 1, 1 Hiroshima shots every day for 12 years. Wow. So okay. that was the test conducted on the population of my people. And then after that, they did a Project 4.1, which they intentionally um, dosed people with radiation to see what the effects of to see what how radiation affect the human body. Uh, did and they do the Marshallese people or other people? The United States did it to the Marshallese. Wow. Okay. So the Marshallese are still dealing Suffering. with those health effects right. 70 years later after right. the fact. Right. Um, like my sister, she sponsored a little boy whose mother died of cancer and he was born with a birth defect because I had a tumor on it. He needs an operation. There's no money for him, so she started like a little non-profit to help him get money so he can go fly off the island and get the operation done. So I have three questions to ask you because this is part of my deal now. I'm going to be posting these onto YouTube. So the three questions are this. First, what do you know about Fukushima? Fukushima, what I know is it's a city in northern Japan and it has been in the news for a few years now because it has a nuclear reactor that has melted down <laughs> and the Chinese, the Japanese government doesn't know how to deal with it. Um, it is a Do you know how many po nuclear power plants melted down there? I don't know how many nuclear power okay. plants melted down there, but okay. I do know a little bit about the U.S. and Japanese history. Um, when Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the first two, the second and third atomic tests to be dropped, the Japanese didn't want anything to do with the nuclear energy. What you're saying? But then the United States went over there and sold them nuclear power plants in the 40s which gave the Japanese uh, cheap energy, reliable energy. And after a few years, after a few decades, the Japanese didn't want anything to do with the nuclear energy anymore. But the Americans still had their um, facilities in the Japanese country. Hmm. Okay. And what do you know about Hanford? Um, Hanford is the gates of Morador, as far as I'm concerned. Hanford is where the Nuclear Commission comes from, where the Department of Energy tests their theories to be then taken out on indigenous peoples. Hanford is where the plutonium is processed to be then driven down the road to Vandenberg to be then shot at the bullseye in the Marshall Islands. That's what I know about Hanford. And um, then what do you know about nuclear energy? Nuclear energy is, um, for me it's a theory. It was always a formula. Nuclear energy was always somebody's idea of how energy is. Energy runs. And um, it is a very popular idea. It is a very cheap idea. It is a very um, uh, publicized idea. It's very publicized, but they do not say anything about the health effects. And they do not say anything about how it affects our daily lives and how genetically modified we are because of the radiation we are exposed to on a daily basis. That's true. Do you mind if I give you some information? First, nuclear energy is not cheap. Do you know that our government subsidizes nuclear energy because it can't get insurance? It's deemed too unhealthy. No insurance company will insure it. So all the governments have to subsidize nuclear energy. In the United States, more than 80% of our Department of Energy budget 
goes to nuclear energy. So we give them our tax dollars. We assume all the risks. That's one thing. So it is a lie to say that that's another one of the propaganda lies from the nuclear energy industry. Because they get all the money. See, they get the benefits. The people that run it, they get the money from our government. This was a case and example. There was a power plant in Pennsylvania that was deemed it needed a part. Uh, I think it was like a $10 million part. That power company lobbied the congressman in that district and said, hey, we don't need that part. Send that $10 million to us. They gave him like a $50,000 contribution to his campaign. He lobbied his members of Congress and they did not force that power plant to have the necessary upgrades as deemed by the NRC. That's how nuclear power works in this country. So they really have no regard for human life. The second thing that you really need to know, especially you, because you have been affected directly by nuclear power, Fukushima is falling apart. It was declared an emergency state on Sunday. On Friday, they measured the water at the power plants. It's 40 trillion becquerels per liter, which is off the charts. When I gave my post-ignorance event here, when Kevin came in March, it was 18,000 becquerels per liter in March 2013. Fast forward to August 2013, it's 40 trillion becquerels. So we really need to get our government involved, get stop the lies and stop the cover-up. And this is why I'm encouraging you to get out your little hand phone and start posting on Facebook at least once a week, and especially your own story about nuclear and you know, just say how terrible it is, and we need people to shut down radioactivity, and, and Fukushima needs to be halted. we got to call out the troops to stop that. So, do you have anything else to say? Um, I would like, just like to give a shout-out to my family and people who know me. And the Marshallese. I'll put the Marshallese Island as a, uh, as a tag. Yeah, and everybody out here doing what I'm doing. Really okay, here we are at the Hiroshima event, and they're celebrating. Alrighty, ciao, you guys. Ciao. Bye, YouTubers.